Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Topic of the message is the reality of which cry are you taking heed to? Which cry are you taking heed to? See, here's what we don't realize in our dynamics of the kind of person that we are. Of course, we need to understand that we are flesh and we are spirit, you know. Um, and the thing is, what we don't realize that something that has an appetite always will have a cry. I want to say that again. Something that has an appetite that needs to be fed, that needs to be nourished, that as we know as a baby needs to be fed, needs to be nourished, needs some attention, needs something. It needs to be attended to because they lack of something. Because of a lack that is inside of the baby, something happens, a cry happens. You know, and the thing is, what we don't realize as human beings, there's two ideas, you know, things are going to cry out inside of us. And it's going to be our flesh and it's going to be our spirit. You know, and the thing is, I'm asking which cry is more important for you to tend to, to answer, to more likely take care of the cry of your flesh or the cry of the spirit. Now, that is the whole idea of how we make our choices. Our choices is going to determine a cry or more likely they call it a yearn a yearning of something that's going to either help better us or keep us bitter and we need to realize that is the scenario of life but people don't understand that scenario because they just taking heed to whatever cry that that it seem they seem like is important you know what i'm saying unfortunately the flesh cry gets more attention more than the spirit cries in the world we live in for most people and the thing is and that is not a good thing because now they are nourishing they are taking care and making something grow that wants to end their life because of course the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life and the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life. The gift of God that is all about the cry of the spirit that wants the needs the answer. Now, here's a thing about, you know, I notice about this ideal of the cry of the flesh. Uh, the thing is, you it's easy to answer. More likely, it's easy to yield to that cry because guess what? We are living majority by the flesh you know what I'm saying, concerning we were born because we're born in sin, shaped with iniquity, and our flesh in the world is influencing our flesh. We should value our fleshly values in whatever shape or form, whether it's, you know, being with somebody, having things, having cars, having clothes, having this, having that, y'all know, so and so on on the earth, having the things of the earth, that it will make our flesh feel good. And the thing is, and that's easy and accessible to, you know, try to see how life is supposed to be. In a, but, you know, Satan wants to uh, more likely put the pedal to the metal concerning to go very fast, you know, after the things of this earth, after the things, you know. You know, and the thing is, when people are hurting, when people, something bad happened and something goes crazy and something goes nuts. What and 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 we we're now we're in fear now 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 we're you know we don't we're worried about something what's going to happen what what's going to happen and all of a sudden a, a cry is going to cry something's going to cry and the problem is the cry of the flesh is more louder than a cry of the spirit and the reason why it's in certain people's more louder than the spirit is because of what we nourish more what you nourish on a daily basis. I mean, look, the cry of the spirit is all about hearing a uh, really cry of faith. Faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. When we hear the word of God and establish the word of God, it will help us uh, sustain our spirit that we will have faith in the things of God and knowing that God 
is going to take care of everything and everything's going to be all right. But if we're feeding a cry uh, of the flesh with pretty much influence, you know, it's both, you know, a same influence about words, you know, and the words of the things of the world and telling you to go after money, sex and drugs and material things and everything out there. And when we hear the cry of the things of the world, we go after, we will yield to that. We will yield. And that's what really uh, Paul is talking about in uh, Romans 6, you know, about, you know, we are yielding to, you know, the things of wickedness and the things or things of obedience concerning righteousness. We either be servants of righteousness or servants of disobedience. That is the problem in the saga with a lot of people in life. And we need to understand that that saga is real. And the thing is, and we need to understand that we need to stop feeding this part because guess what? When that flesh cry out, we're going to go after something of the earth. And we're going to try to get this temporal, you know, earth to sustain us, to try to heal us, you know, you know, the bars, go cry out to the clubs or go cry out to, you know, this place and that natural place and, and let it see if it can answer us. And, you know, the earth only have nothing but temporal answers for you. That's it. All of the stuff that's going on the earth that has in common that people see and think that you know it's a forever answer no it's a temporal answer and the thing is people are being deceived and thinking that that answer is going to give them a new true answer but there you go and the thing is people just need to understand only the spirit will only have the answer because a spiritual God, I try to tell people, established us. That's why it's important to understand and know that God created us. God created us so only, and God is spirit, and only a spirit can answer the situation that's going on in our lives. That's how it's blatantly really an understanding that you need to understand. Because everybody think, you know, oh, well, I don't need God. I can just, you know, do by myself and, you know, and handle this with my earthly, uh, ideals and earthly things can handle the, and cope with the problems and the trials and tribulations of my life and that's what satan wants you own and think in that way so you can leave the wages of sin is dead i mean that's just a deadly way of looking at life but the thing is we need god we need god we need our creator our creator only has the only things that can sustain us and help us go through the situations and the trial and the tribulations that goes on in life only the spirit and because a spirit like i said a spirit being created us and established us to be the people that we are without this spiritual being we will not exist in this world and we will not have our living our being our existence without god and the thing is that's why we need to feed the cry of the word of God inside of us, the word of God. And that's why we need to get the word of God and apply the word of God. You know, it's kind of like, you know, get lotion and you apply the lotion and put it on your skin. So avoid you from becoming ashy and dry. You know what I'm saying? We need to up just, and that's how we should look at the word of God. That it's a, something that we listen and apply little by little, daily and daily, that we learn to become better Christians. You know what I'm saying? And understand why we should do this and understand what we're doing is going to, you know, bring our our being. We're going to do what we were created to do, that we were, you know, made in shape in the image to do. And that's how we're going to answer the true cry inside of us that's going to keep crying out. That's the only way. I mean, but if you want to keep exploring all these worldly, you know, foolish options, uh, get ready for hurt, pain, disappointment each and everywhere you go. I mean, that's what y'all know that's the truth. But hey, y'all want, want to be daredevils to keep thinking that this world can give you a better satisfaction of answer the cry that's inside you. Join the cycle, the, the that cycle of a lot of people that in the graves that can tell you something different. But that's the message. I hope you got an understanding. I hope you answer the right cry. Listen to the cry of the Spirit and let the Spirit tell you you need the Word of God. You need the Word of God. You need to uh, apply the Word of God daily, little by little. 
be around Christians to encourage you through your, you know, applying this to help you become stronger. You're going to need them. They're going to need you. And you can learn how to be a true overcome. And that's the message. To God be the glory here and forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.